have to do until I can find something smaller. Because I don't think this one here, I don't think this will support it.
No more knobs, no more knobs, no more knobs. Just before we begin, if uh, any of you have your cell phones still on, you just make sure you turn it off. No more knobs, no more knobs, no more knobs, no more knobs. Sing pan dai shu, hotsu gang ki sambogye. Says on a shingy 
Dharma name Shaku Kyoen. Buddha who encounters the teachings is presented to Mr. Makoto Ikta, who entered into Nirvana on March 21st, 2022, at the age of 93 years. I go to the Buddha for guidance. Namo kie ho, I go to the Dharma for guidance. Namo kie so, I go to the Sangha for guidance. Namo nabas, namo Well, 
afternoon, everyone. And uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for those who are joining us live stream for the committal service for Uncle Mac. You know, as I was uh, getting ready for today's service, I thought to myself, how come I have to be the chief mourner as well as doing the service for Uncle Mac? But then I realized I was wrong. It's not how come, it's why. It's why. <laughs> With that little pun, um, for those of you that know the history of Uncle Mac, you can look on his yearbooks too. There's a lot of mentions of how come. And uh, he used to always correct us and say, not how come, it's why. Right? But the answer to that is because we all love him dearly. And uh, I know, although his passing was in great, it, it was in peace, um, still, it is a, a great loss for, for all of us. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to have the sutra chanting. Uh, we're going to be uh, starting with the san chanting of the Sambujo, uh, which you'll find on the page of your little book, page seven of your booklet. And then following that, we'll be chanting the Sambutsuge on the following page, I believe it is. And uh, when we start the Sambutsuge, if I can ask you to come up and burn incense in honor and in memory of Uncle Mac, it would be appreciated. Thank you. No one dubs, no one dubs, no one dubs, no one dubs.
This afternoon, we have gathered in the presence of Mira Buddha for the committal service for Makoto Ikuta, or Uncle Mac. Dharma name, Shaku Kyoen, Buddha who encounters the teachings. May the incense burning remind us of the purity of our intentions, and may the flowers offered remind us of the glory of the Dharma. It is said in Buddhism that all things born into this world must also pass on in due time. However, those who have met the true Dharma of Amida Buddha realize a greater oneness existing in the universe. At this time of great sadness, may we listen and receive the compassion of Amida Buddha, and together may we receive guidance and strength from the Onembutsu.
Approximately 500 years ago, um, there was a great plague going around Japan, not unlike what we're seeing with the pandemic. And there was a family that lost three other uh, family members within a span of a year. 
and they turned to Menyong to ask him to make a commentary on the fleeting nature of life. And this is when Menyong penned this letter. Uh, Menyong himself had lost several of his family members to the plague, and it's entitled On White Ashes. When we deeply consider the transient form of man's life, we realize that in this world, from beginning to end, nothing is more fragile and fleeting than the course of human life. Thus, we have not yet heard of anyone receiving human form that lasts for 10,000 years. Life swiftly passes. Can a person preserve his body for 100 years at the present time? Not knowing whether death will come today or tomorrow, those who depart before us are as countless as the drops of dew. Therefore, in the morning we may have radiant health, in the evening we may be white ashes. When the winds of uncertainty strike, our eyes are closed forever. When the last breath leaves our body, the healthy color of the face is transformed, and we lose the appearance of radiant life. Our loved ones may gather and lament, but to no avail. When such an event occurs, the body is sent into an open field, and when it has vanished with the midnight smoke, nothing is left but white ashes. This is indeed indescribably sad. Thus, we see that what man cannot control is the passing away of young and old alike. Therefore, we are brought to understand that each moment of our life every day is precious and unrepeatable. Cherishing this truth, let us entrust ourselves to meet up with God and repeat the sacred name. So uh, I wanted to share with you, um, in the Buddha's teachings, uh, there's a very famous teaching where one of the disciples of Buddha, one day in his meditations, uh, starts thinking of things such as, what happens to me when I pass away? Where do I go to? And this started bothering him, and he kept on thinking on this. And so he finally approaches the Buddha to say, you know, where am I going to go? What happens when I pass away? And the Buddha asked him, he said, when you joined the Sangha, when you became part of the Brotherhood, did I promise you that I would teach you these things? And he said, no, but I need to know this. And the Buddha said, well, suppose there is a traveler. And he said, suppose there is a traveler who is traveling through a village when suddenly uh, he encounters or a poison arrow is shot at him and pierces him. And as he's lying on the ground, the villagers run to try to help them. And they try to pull the arrow out, but before they could, the man says, wait, before you pull that poison arrow, I need to know several things. Where did this arrow come from? Who shot the arrow? Was it a male? Was it a female? What kind of poison is on the end of that arrow? And also, what kind of uh, bird did the quills of the arrow come from? And the Buddha asked his disciples, he said, suppose the traveler said all this, what would happen to him? And his disciples said, well, he would probably pass away before they could pull the arrow out. And the Buddha said, exactly. He said, sometimes there are questions that we can ask that don't have a real true answer. But what's important is to treat the situation as it is, or on that instance. And by taking care of that instance, you won't have to worry about the future. So this is a parable that's taught. And I was, um, I didn't really think about this parable too deeply, but after the passing on Kumak, I started thinking about it, and I realized that it's talking about mindfulness and being thoughtful every moment. And if nothing else, I think Uncle Mac as you all know, was a great educator. In fact, it wasn't so much educating, he understood the methodology of teaching. And so 
whenever he would uh, teach to his students, I mean, all of us nephews and nieces probably remember going in during the summertime to his school, to his lab, because he had to do some kind of preparation. This is during the summertime where he didn't really have to go. But this was Uncle Matt, the pr pr preparation, the methodology of teaching. He understood what the learner needed to know. Um, in fact, just the other day, I went to London Drugs to get this uh, picture developed. And the, the person at London Drugs, I, I've actually known this before, he is a former student of Uncle Matt. And he said, he said, your uncle was a great teacher. And he said, he made high school students want to go to chemistry class. He said, imagine that. Right? And I, when you think about it, chemistry is not probably on the list of the highly interesting uh, subjects that you would want to take. But Uncle Matt understood the methodology of teaching, understood what people needed to know. And so uh, when I chose his Dharma name, Shakul Kyoen, one of the Buddha who encounters the teachings, uh, this came both from the fact that not only the teachings of his school, but of the Dharma. And I think Uncle Mac uh, truly relished uh, listening to the teachings and sharing it with others. And so this is how his name was chosen, Shapu Kyo and one who, the Buddha who encounters the Dharma. And so uh, although we are, I, I didn't realize I was going to get so emotional, uh, but uh, we do greatly miss, or the passing has affected all of us greatly. Yet at the same time, I think all of us are filled with gratitude and joy in knowing that Uncle Mac led such a wonderful life and he touched so many people. And so for my, my part, I'd like to personally thank both uh, Uncle Cooney and Auntie June for all you that, well, for all of you, actually. And as Denise had mentioned in one of her emails, it is, I am truly grateful to be part of such a supportive family. So thank you, and I'd like to just close with the gosh show, and then I'll have Uncle Kuni say a few words afterwards. Namo Amida. Namo Amida. sitting at the back for all that you had done for us, helping us with this arrangement. And to the rest of you here, we're all going to miss Uncle Mac. As Grant said, he was a great teacher. And there are several students that remember him from 30, 40 years ago. And they still come and express their gratitude for having him as their teacher. And you all as nephews and nieces, great nephews, great nieces, have encountered the same. Nori, thank you for being there with Mac for the last few months. It must have been difficult, and I'm sure Mac appreciated it, as we did. Arigato. Thank you, everyone, for attending. 
And to those on the video screen, thank you also for attending. And this concludes the service today, the committal service, after which those of you who are here are invited to come to the San Sui Wa restaurant for a luncheon. And it's under the name of Ikuta. There's two tables reserved. Once again, thank you. So now we'll just have the uh, assistance of the director. Uh, Larry's going to cut some flowers and we'll place them in the casket. Uh, just to let you know, inside the casket is also uh, one of his, the, the earbuds. I thought uh, it'd be nice for him to be remembered with his students. And also there's another uh, book, it's uh, <coughs> it's a diary, is it? No. Diary yeah, it's a, address, both, both a diary address of uh, Obacha and some of Ojichan's writings. And uh, Uncle Mac had it by his uh, altar, so we thought that um, I think most of the people on the address are probably not here with us uh, anymore either. And uh, because he had it at the altar, I asked that you know, if it was okay if we uh, place it in, and she, she, she was fine with it. So.
this will conclude uh, services for today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. 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 Thank you.